This is the final filming from the Parliament Buildings here in Cape Town with Rob Wainwright, Doddy Weir. Now back to the studios. Thank you very much and God bless. Thank you, Doddy. I'm Doddy Weir. I was selected for the British and Irish Lions 1997 tour of South Africa. What an experience it was. One of my clearest memories was right at the start of the tour. Climbing the stairs onto the plane to South Africa and turning left at the top up to the very front of the plane in the big comfy seats. That was the first time for me in first class. And as I thought, this is something very special. And then there was the experience of playing with instead of against some of the great names in home nation rugby. Keith Wood, Martin Johnson, Lawrence Delagio, to name but a few. It was exciting to have to prove your worth as part of this elite group. Ready! Ready! No! Ready! 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 No! We had the most fantastic management team on tour. Frank Cotton, Jim Telfer, Ian McGeekin leading the way. When you think you've nothing left, that's when you become a lion. Good luck, boys. Be big lions today. I want you bigger and better when you come off that field. South Africa were at the top of the game at this time. The Lions were definitely underdogs. But our management team motivated us physically and mentally to climb that mountain and win the tour. They took some gambles. One, I think, was picking me for the tour. But they believed in what we could do and it paid off. We go deeper and deeper into injury time. Jenkins has put this out. It might seem odd, but I learned what a truly great game rugby is. 1997 was the first professional Lions tour, but it retained the ethos of the amateur game. Play hard on and off the field. And we did. Doddy Weir, you were seen by a group of uh, South African journalists in the nightclub <laughs> in Port Elizabeth around midnight on Friday. Now, you weren't playing on Saturday, but it was our understanding that the team management had put a curfew on for everybody at 11 o'clock. There's no suggestion that you were actually pissed, but you had had a few beers. Mistaken identity. <laughs> We worked very hard under the guidance of Jim Telfer and played hard off the field under the guidance of John Bentley. Say no more. It's not a real karma, is it? I believe we've got a poster. I think he's just using that to get into these parties. Oh, yeah. We've got a problem here. We were lucky. We were still allowed the opportunity to meet and socialise with our fantastic supporters on tour. Let's go. And you know, having been to New Zealand as a Lions supporter in 2017, I can say it's almost as exciting to be part of the supporting family as it is being off the playing party. Here we are, just received the camera from Rob Wainwright. Take two, because part one I had a wee swear, because I'm not very sure how to work it. So between you and I, it's going to be... A long struggle for a week, but we'll certainly go. I also learned to enjoy myself while you can. Fight for what you believe in and have a good time along the way. <laughs> Dave McLean. Ah, Mr. Wainwright. This is very much how I now approach dealing with motor neuron disease. Our backs were against the wall in South Africa, but our inner belief pushed us to success. And that's what I'm working to achieve against MD with the My Name Study Foundation. Keep it here, boys. Encourage, us, encourage yourselves, encourage your teammates. Give them that shot. Playing for the Lions makes you part of a very special club. It's difficult to explain, but when you meet up with other players from the tour, even if you haven't seen them for 20 years, there's an instant bond. 
a lifelong camaraderie from that shared, unique experience. Oh, no. Peter, sure we can't go to the session tonight. We've got to sit here and that sort of thing. Yeah. Okay. Hey, James. All right, eh? Media, we can just go. What does that mean? Media, Fixed. Is it? No, just heal on time. Oh, well, it's been a good old time, hasn't it? Of course, there was a disappointment of my early exit from the tour due to injury. But I've always had a positive approach to life. Sadly, my tour was over, but I was heading home to start my greatest adventure of my life to marry my gorgeous wife Cathy a few weeks later. I am still loving that adventure.